All right, this problem is another factor by grouping, but it also has a GCF, because if I look at all these right away, I see that they are even, all right? So I can at least take out a two. Let me look real quick, is that the largest thing? Yes, it is, all right? So I'm just gonna take out two out of all these. If it helps, you can put this little division sign, divide each by two. Then let's write what's left over. 3x to the third minus 6x squared minus 5x plus 10. Okay, so then that part that's left over is the part that I want to group. My GCF of 2 will come out in front of my answer. All right, so I'm going to group the first two and the last two. Looking at those first two, I see that they both have a 3 in common as well as an x squared. I'm going to take a 3x squared out. Keep my blue parentheses there. And then 3x to the third divided by 3x squared is going to be 1x, just 1x. All right. So you can put the 1 there. You don't have to. You just leave it as x. Negative 6x squared divided by 3x squared. The x squareds are going to cancel. So negative 6 divided by 3 is just negative 2. All right. Remember that I really want this second parentheses to be the exact same. So I'm going to put x minus 2 in there. And just looking at negative 5x plus 10, what can you take out so that it will leave you with x minus 2? I think I have to take out a negative 5. Right. So take out a negative 5. That's going to leave me with x. And negative 10 divided by negative 5 is the negative 2. Now, your answer is going to take this 2 from the front. It's going to put it in front of yours. All right, and then I'm going to write my red 3x squared minus 5, and then my blue x minus 2. And all of that together is your answer.